Olsen is our uh, name of our winery and we got started as a family here and it was Joseph's initial idea in terms of getting started and um, my part of the story from for, that I tell on my side is that um, Joe was uh, an English major at Sac State and he had to do a paper but also during that same time period he was dating a young girl that liked wine. Um, prior to that he was drinking tequila, vodka, beer, everything but wine. And so she kind of got him started on the wine. And the next step was um, he decided to do a paper on winemaking. And he went up to uh, uh, the foothills, talking to some of the winemakers, very friendly people up in the Shenandoah Valley. Um, easy to talk to, uh, very friendly, very helpful. And uh, they, they got him interested in it. He wrote the paper, decided he was gonna try to make some home wine, and made some home wine and, and said, this is pretty good wine. And okay. told his mom, okay. told his mom, said, Mom, I can make wine. We should go see, um, see what it would take to start a winery. And uh, my wife, Donna, she said, you know, sounds like a good, great day of uh, wine tasting to me, you know, thinking nothing would really come of it. And so they took off. And um, what they found was um, the ability to find one location to be able to make the wine be able to rent the equipment, because that's a big expenditure in terms of winemaking. Um, one place for a tasting room, um, storage for your uh, barrels to age your wine, and storage for your case goods. And so um, Joe and Donna developed a, a um, work plan for developing, starting the winery. And they shared it with their, their uh, his sister, my daughter, and, uh, and my son-in-law, and they said, wow, sounds like a great idea. You know, you guys have thought it out, you put it down on paper, and uh, it, it looks good to us, so we're in, you know, count us in. And um, this is what I say, you know, Joseph said, Rachel, that's good, I'm glad you're in, because you get to talk to dad, you know. Daddy's uh, little girl gets to talk to dad about little getting, angel. little angel getting into the, uh, into the business here, and so, Next thing I know, I'm getting a phone call from my daughter, Rachel, and uh, she says, uh, Dad, we're going to have a family meeting on Friday night. We've got something really important to talk to you about. And, uh, and I says, well, I said, uh, okay, I'm going to be home Friday night because I was on the road. And um, I said, all right, hon, I'll, I'll be there. Um, can, you, what, can you tell me what's going on? And I says, no, no, Dad, it, we have, have to tell you in person. I said, okay, okay, I'll be there Friday night, no problem. And click, we hang up. And so I'm sitting there thinking, what in the world is going on? You know, what's happening? And, and it clicks in my mind, oh, my, my daughter has been married for two years now to Russell O'Leary, my son-in-law. And I said, I'm going to be a grandpa. All right. And so um, Friday comes, we've had dinner, I'm sitting down, and they're all coming towards me, and everyone. And I'm the only one sitting there, and I said, Okay, they all know, and, and I'm supposed to be surprised, so right, I got it, I'll be surprised. And so my daughter comes forward and says, Dad, um, we need to talk to you. And I says, okay. I says, um, Dad, uh, we want to start a winery. What? What happened to my grandkids? Oh, uh, Dad, there's plenty of time for grandkids. Let's talk winery here. And so they jump into the spiel and they tell me all about it, their plans and what they've looked at and, and what they've written up. And I thought, wow, you know, that sounds great, guys. You guys have done a lot of work on this. You've thought it through and you got a good plan. I said, um, go for it. You know, I'm pretty busy. I don't know that I can help you out. <clears throat> and uh, um, my daughter says, oh, come on, Dad. So they were doing some more arm twisting coming along. And I already had one, one job that was a little more than full time and I said, I really, you know, you guys, if you want to do it, go right ahead. I don't have time to, to give you to help you out, but I'm, you know, I'm right behind you all the way. Yeah, all right, Dad. Well, if you, if you, if you can't help us out, then um, that's all right. We still uh, need your money, so you need to write us a check. Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. All right, I'm in with my money. I'm not going to be able to help you a lot, but I'm in with my money. And so that's where we kind of got started with it. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. <laughs>